Morning. Morning. Not really feeling the morning this morning. Nope. But we're still at sea. Good place for a cruise ship to be. <laughs> and it's a lot warmer than home, so I guess I should not be complaining. Mm -hmm. uh, we did just finished art of the animation class. We drew some Nemo's. Check it out. Can you guess who drew what? Nope, don't look at the names. That's cheating. Um, <laughs> That's right, two sexy so fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. I was talking about us. Oh, the fish too. The drawings are good too. The drawings are good too. Well, guys, we promised that we would go on a cruise tour today and show you what there is uh, to do on the cruise ship and all about. So we're actually going to go down to floor number one right now and um, work our way up to the top floor, hopefully in time to hear the horn go off at noon. So let's do this. All right, let's start off with the first floor on the forward because there's only a forward for cabins down here. Last time we stayed on the Wonder, which was the last cruise we took, was actually on this floor, the first one, right down this way. And you kind of feel special because you gotta go through this special set of doors. Let's do that. Voila! That's right, Trevor, I'm talking about you. This is where we played that card game, Uno. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good cut, not just the regular Uno, the dare Uno. Good times down this. Uh, that was. It was a good game. Good times, and uh, I think Kevin and Lisa stayed down this floor, too. Yeah. And Mom and Dad were too cool. They had to go to... Uh, Sixth floor. Yeah. Where we're at now. Yeah. But now we're cool, so... <laughs> Anyways, let's go back out. They also have the medical center on this floor. Yes, let's go show where the medical center is. As you can see, health center. Mm. I would only suggest going in here if you're dying or if something seriously happens. The other thing I will say that is on the front of the ship here on this floor, um, double doors to my one side, double doors to the other side. And this is so you can get off the ship. If you saw us get off the ship a few times, this is where we got off. Um, we can also get off an aft, but a lot of times they just used it to get people off in the morning, and then they shut it off and they only could come in these front entrances at the end. The second floor is not as exciting as you can see. Staterooms, staterooms. And more staterooms. And more staterooms, with laundry. What's if you need to do laundry? Great. Um, the similar sister ship, The Magic, the Disney Magic, we actually stayed on the second floor for our very first cruise. So we've also been on this floor. So, woohoo for us. All right, we've made it up to the third floor here, folks. This <laughs> is where the action starts, and it's gonna take me a long time to get through all this. So we're gonna do our best here. Now, like you've seen us a couple times, we've actually been in Tiana's place. It's all locked up right now, but um, I don't know, that's where you saw us do the, the, the Congo line. Now they don't need to see the menu. But you can see a menu every single night right out here. If you want to take a look and you're lazy and you don't want to look on your app and you'd rather walk down, which isn't lazy, which is more exercise, I suppose you could do that. Well, with the amount of food you eat on the boat, you do need a little more exercise than normal. Now, if you take a direct turn to go to the front of the boat, you will enter the French Quarter. Now, this is where um, all kinds of activities happen during the day. Um, in the nighttime, like you've seen in other uh, videos of ours, there's actually music that happens up on the stage. You can also come here for drink of, drink of the days. Sure, I'm sure you could. But coffees, uh, happy hour coffees, happy hour drinks later on at night. It's kind of cool that way. All right, so, um, and this is all based off of New Orleans and this room, they, when they did their refurb on the ship not that long ago. Um, yeah, I forget what it used to be, but it's pretty cool in there. We're gonna get a side view of Tritons. Now, this isn't the main entrance, I'm gonna take a side view. Now, that's a side entrance, typically only used for wheelchair access, as there are stairs at the front. Um, or mobility aid access uh, just because the front entrance actually has stairs unless you've uh, got a really cool chair or vehicle 
or whatever, you're not going to be getting up the front entrance there. So we are about to enter the main auditorium area here. Auditorium? I don't know if that's the word. But it's beautiful. This is the place you can meet a lot of princesses. I haven't seen Princess Leia yet, but I know you can meet princesses. Right over here on the starboard or port side, port side, one of the sides. We actually can have the guest services right over here. This is where they can help you out with almost anything, if not anything. I'm sure it could be anything. I just haven't tried everything, if that makes any sense. We're just gonna bop on the other side of the elevators here to Port Adventures. Um, if you're going to a port and you want to do something fun, and you haven't booked, or you want to talk about your booking, this is a great place to do it. A lot of fun. A lot of fun in here, folks. And now we work ourselves to the forward end of the ship after this. Um, we kind of go into adult lounge area now. It is still allowed to have kids in there until a certain time of the day. I forget what that is. But after later in the hours, it turns into adult only, which is a pretty cool area. This is the Azura Lounge. This is uh, where we play when to try to do match your mate. And what, we're, what else are we doing here? Oh yeah, we saw a comedian and this magic show for adult shows are yeah. all done in here. And they also had the silent DJ party in here. That's right, the silent DJ party and a whole bunch of other things happen in here. Um, like I said, in the daytime there's family stuff. That'll be the game they're playing now. Yeah, so you, you think you know your family. Well, <laughs> well that was pretty funny, I think. But anyways, yes, uh, come in here at nighttime. They do have drink specials, happy hour, all that good stuff. So great place to come and crash at night. All right, so this next place, I'm not quite sure if we're gonna be able to get into right now. Might have to come back later, we'll see. Um, is the Cadillac Lounge. It's the second of three um, adult areas on the cruise ship at nighttime here. Um, this is where I feel it's the most fanciest out of the three. Um, always got like piano music going on in there and once again, more drinks and more hanging out with people. They don't necessarily do games in there. It's just more of a quiet, um, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can take a peek. Alrighty, so now we're at another set of elevators here. There are three main sets of elevators that go up and down here. And I'm actually looking for the part that says forward here because usually all the sh elevators will say forward, mid, or aft, just so you kind of know where you are. Um, I did want to add on quickly here. There is a shop down here. Um, sea treasures, as you can see, there's treasures. Ha 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 ha! Funny me. Guys, we're done here on the third floor. Let's go check up on what's on the fourth floor of the ship here. There's a bunch of more stuff as well, which is pretty cool. I think the coolest part about the ship here on this floor is the Walt Disney Theater. If you come with us right around this corner. Right past Preludes, which is where you can get yourself popcorn, drinks, or snacks before the show. Keep on walking down. There is a door here, and one on the other side. Now tonight, show, you can always come and check. Looks like a lot of fun in here tonight. Michael Harrison again. Michael Harrison, he's the guy we talked about who did the ventriloquism. Yeah, he was really good. Really good, so we're actually gonna come watch his show. At two. And then we got the Disney Dreams, an enchanted classic. At six. At six. So we'll be coming back for both of those shows. Here below, you can also see all the shows that we had all week. We didn't go to all of them, but definitely lots of great choices and things to choose from. Right. Now, before your show, or after your show, or whenever you want to shop, as long as it's a sea day, or in the evening, because you cannot buy from these following shops at night, or I mean, you cannot buy from these following shops in ports. We have two awesome stores. Mickey's Main Sand. In white caps. That's right, folks. 
grew two places, you can spend all your hard-earned money. All right, coming up here, also on the 4th, we're coming up midship here on the 4th, we have Disney Vacation Club. Right behind me here, Disney Vacation Club. For those of you that do not know what Disney Vacation Club is, Disney Vacation Club is basically a fancy word for Disney Timeshare Show. But we call it Vacation Club because it's cool and special. You're not gonna lie, it kinda is cool and special. So, if you ever wanna go on a Disney vacation and have it with one of us, make sure to put your name in the draw. We will choose you soon enough. And it's kind of a nice little view from above here. You can kinda see down. Another thing, just around this little uh, railing area, we have the D-Lounge, which is where a lot of family games happen during the day and at night time. It, it always stays family orientated. Um, looks like they're having a chef. So just cook. I believe it's sea bass. He's actually showing everybody how to make sea bass. I think that's what it was today. Not 100% not sure, but basically uh, the, one of the chefs from the boat actually will come down and show you how to make it. I wish we could all make it, but that's probably for a different class for a different time. Now, right down the hallway here, we have a bunch of Disney art from all movies, all times. Um, now on the bigger ships, they actually have a, a specific shop that's set up for these right around the same area, but uh, on the smaller ships, it is limited space. So with the limited space, we use the space we do have, which is the walls while we walk along here. Oh, there's our Mickey there. A little bit of a Pluto. More Mickey, more Mickey and Minnie almost kissing. Oh. Anna and Elsa, aww. Now, all over the ship, there are about a million opportunities to get your photos taken. From characters, to theme nights, where they have really cool backdrops, to different places all over the cruise ship, and then even meeting characters and stuff like that um, before you get on the ship, when you get on the ship. Um, I know in Castaway Key, you can do it when you're on the uh, island, because that's Disney's own island. We didn't get to go there on this cruise, but another day, we will have to. So once you get your photos taken, you're like, well, how do I see them all? You tap your handy dandy key to the world on any of the touch screens devices that are out here in the shutters area and you can see all your photos this is pirate night so we basically you can flip through all your photos see what you want and then you can sit there and buy digital uh, for uh, 20 cheap price of twenty dollars and 95 cents you can have a photo of yourself <laughs> so there are, pack there are packages you can pay for um, on the boat that you can get all the pictures, all the digital pictures. We'll log out, Jody. So you can actually buy all the digital photos um, as one big group. Um, you can also pre-order them, which ends up being a bit cheaper. Uh, something that we did learn is that you can actually pre-order, and if you don't want the whole package and you want to change it from like a full package just down to a couple photos or whatever, you can do that right here on the boat. I forgot to add if you forgot your camera or your GoPro or whatever or film. We don't sell film. They don't really sell film anymore. But you could actually all get that up on at that store right there, which is pretty nifty. Now, for the third main restaurant we have on this sit-down restaurant, we have Animator's Palette. Now, this is where we were a couple nights ago, and we're actually going to go here on our last night again. Um, it's probably the most decorative. Well, that one between Tiana's place and this one, but this one's all about animation and drawing characters and stuff like that that happens on the walls while you eat, which is pretty cool. Um, and that's all right here. On deck four, exclusive to deck four, is you can walk around the whole ship in its one exact mile, which is pretty cool. We've done it once or twice before. <sighs> it's a beautiful it's really day. Gorgeous out here. Out here. Beautiful day. And our friends are down there, but we're not gonna put that part in the video. Now that, now that we made it to the fifth floor, it does start to quiet down a bit. There are some things to do on this fifth floor, 
but not as much as the last two. <laughs> if it looks like we have uh, races on the cruise, we do. We have Jack's Amazing Race or something like that. Yeah. Jack's Baby Dash, I think is what it's called. Down there, you can see those uh, the start and finish there pad. They actually, you can bring your little baby infants to race. There we go. Yeah, we baby Natalie and James, where are you to represent? Right. Well, now we're headed down a little further to the aft here. This is where the children's stuff starts to come in. We have, as Jody is showing us, the Disney's Oceaneer Club. We'll just take a peek, because we can't go in, but we'll take a peek. Looks like so. Opening. Oh yes, opening okay. hours. In other words, drop your kid off at nine, pick them back up at midnight. Win, win, chicken dance. It's a small world. It's, it's where you can drop off your itty bitties. Hi. We're super friendly here. Super friendly. We just walked past the Buena Vista Theater. Now, the other morning when we were getting on or getting off the cruise ship that is to go to Grand Cayman. We had to go on those tender boats and line up. Uh, in the video, that's where we were, waiting inside the theater for our turn to go on to the... Uh, he's showing Toy Story 4 in there right now. And as you can see, there's a bunch of movies for later. Uh, basically, they're playing movies all the time. 3D, non-3D, midnight, early shows. You can also go in there to check out the shopping um, options when you uh, for the different ports I think the day before the or whatever there's a lady that goes in there I forget her name but she's also always up in the jewelry shop when those stores are open too you can meet her talk to her and she says she will shop with you alrighty so the next few floors are actually just bedrooms. a bunch of bedrooms so that will include floor six floor seven that's but not least floor eight however there is something special on this floor that I'd like to take you guys for a little bit of a walk and show you. So right down here behind us is actually a really cool room. We can't go in or anything like that because people are staying in there. But the guy actually happens to be cleaning the Walt Disney Suite right now, which is the top of the line. It's a really beautiful room. And this whole floor is concierge. So basically if you have money that is needing somewhere to go and you haven't already given all your money to the Mickey, you can give more money to the Mickey. And more money, and more money, and more money. We're at the forward of the ninth floor. This is where spa. the spas and gym are. You can actually, I believe the gym is in here somewhere. Everyone is here from 6 a.m. till 10 p.m. So they're always working out. And it is all, anybody can access the gym, correct? So basically, if you are 18 and above, yes. However, if you are ages uh, 16 and up, then you can come with your parents to okay. work out as well. But like, I mean, any any adult can access this Absolutely, for, for yes. free as for part free, of yes. the... free, yes. There's no the... entry fee or anything like that. The old house is free now as well. Huge shout out to Khadija. She was the lady in the spa uh, front desk there area that was extremely helpful in showing us around to the gym and giving us some facts about stuff that we did not know. Which brings us out back to the pool, adult only pool, which you've all seen many times. Let's go in the coffee shop. Everybody likes coffee. Hey. All right, so this is another awesome island only area where you can get coffee. Any kind of coffee you want. It's like Starbucks, but better. I will have to say that. Not that I'm in the mood for coffee right now, but we will have to come back here later when I'm in the mood for some coffee. All right, we do have the yummy desserts. If you ever, ooh, cranberry bliss. What do they call it cranberry spice? That looks like cranberry bliss by the Starbucks here. I know. And look at all those orange chocolate cupcakes. Oh, all right, this is the area where the kids play. As you can see, there's a lot more people out here, which makes sense. Kids, uh, as you've seen, we got the Final Vision. Here we do Mickey's Sail Away Party, uh, the Pirate Party, lots of parties. It's all about parties and movies and pools up here, and food. Up there we got uh, pizza, 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 Pinocchio's Pizza. Remember that from a video earlier. Um, you can also, there's a bar section to it. You can get some drinks there. All right, so we're at Pete's Spoilers Bites. 
I think it's peat boiler bites. We're just gonna call it boiler spites. I don't know where I got the peat part from, but this is where you can get shawarma. 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 Wow, and I'm right here, and there's a big bucket of water spilling right behind the camera. I'm so thankful it's not getting this wet. Uh, you can also get your pizza and your chicken wing. No, not pizza. Hot dogs, chicken fingers, cheeseburgers, lots of fast food stuff. So here we got the ice cream. Who, who doesn't love ice cream behind us here? Uh, different flavors. There's a couple that actually change throughout the week, or every day, I should say. So if you're one of those people that like to try something new every day, well, you're in luck because it does change. This is why I did not work at Dairy Queen. Very pretty. Uh, this is another uh, aqua lab. We were here the night. This aqua lab for lots of little kids. They also have a big, nice water slide there, which adults can also go on, which I've yet to go on to. But the lineup is always super long. One day, one day I will make it. I know we've been here before, but this is Daisy's Delights: salads, wraps, soups, sandwiches, fruit. So the last thing on this floor, this level of the ship, we have is another food place, but it is buffet. Yes. So it's not one of the three maining, main, this is not one of the three main restaurants, it happens to be the buffet place. So it's open, breakfast, lunch, supper, or at supper time, we've never tried it ourselves, but I believe at supper time, it is seating, you get seated and, um, that's all I know. So it's a little more formal than breakfast and lunch, which is just go mad, go crazy, get your food, which is great, because that's totally my style sometimes. So cabanas, that's where you want to go if you want some good food and you don't want to wait at all. Now we're on the 10th floor of the ship and it is very beautiful. We actually stood up here. I can't believe it's almost been a week since we've been up here waiting our turn to go into what's known as Palo. Yes, it's another restaurant. And why didn't I tell you about it before? Because it's actually not a main restaurant. In Palo, it's even better yet. It's uh, a little bit of an extra fee. You go in, you have some food. You can do a dinner, or you can actually do, on sea days, you can do a brunch, which is kind of nice too. Um, we've only done the dinner, Maybe next time we'll have to try the brunch. So the 10th floor is really just a bunch of lounge chairs. A bunch of areas to actually look down up. Or hey guys. Hi. Hey. You were getting mad. You joined another bear. I thought it was a big ship, but I guess it's not. <laughs> it's not, not when I see this guy all the time. I saw you about 20 times. Right? <laughs> the guy that we forgot your name. I am so sorry. I've only seen you like 100 times on the ship, and I feel super bad. But he's always super happy and smile on his face. Seems to be enjoying his vacation, which is good. Actually, a really cool thing, he actually works for Delta Airlines. So we got to have a heart-to-heart -heart airline people that have worked in airline, you know. People only understand the airline. The only people that actually understand the job of an airline is people that work in the same industry. So I feel special heart-to-heart -heart today. Jody wanted to play some ping pong. So I'm gonna ping, play some ping pong. Well, I'm gonna play some ping pong with Jody with one hand again. See how we do. Jimmy on, folks.
things that I would actually like to talk about on the top of the ship here. First part is in regards to concierge. So when we were downstairs on the floor eight, just outside the Walt Disney Suite there, and I was talking about all the concierge rooms you can have if you want to spend a whole bunch of awesome money with Mickey. Well, they have their own hangout area, so to speak. It's like called the Concierge Lounge. It used to be part of the Cove Cafe, which used to be both this top and that corner, but then just got turned into just this. So behind here, which we can't see because we're not concierge today, is where they have lounge. They have like goodies and treats and coffees. Maybe drinks, I have no idea. Never been there. One day I will go, have to go in there, and be special, and check it out for you guys. The other thing here is right in this smokestack right behind us. It's not really a smokestack. It's actually um, another area for youth, for the youth kids, what, 13 to 17, something like that, I believe. It's, uh, they can go up there on the top floor and they hang out and they have cool stuff for no adults and no mom and dads and no brothers and sisters that might annoy the heck out of them. So that's where they go. Um, and they have a blast. They go in there, the beginning of the cruise, and honestly, you don't see them to the end from what I hear and what I can see. Now, last but not least, we are waiting for the honk of the horn. Every day at sea day at noon, the horn of the ship goes off, and we are just waiting for that. That'll kind of end our tour of the ship. <laughs> I can replace the horn, I think. No. I really do. No. Nope. Yep. Goodbye. Farewell. Something, something. Our feet is ain't I do. Our feet I are do. the same. How is the feet the same? Have anything to do with saying goodbye? I don't know. I'm... Just because I'm German doesn't mean I know the... Oh, I want to cry. <laughs> it's okay. It's the end of the cruise ship. And we got to get off tomorrow. Oh. We'll be back. We will be back. Hopefully with one of you lucky contestants. <laughs> um, tonight, uh, we got to go to Animator's Palace. My favorite restaurant. Boot, boot, boot. And we actually got to do what I thought wasn't actually going to happen. I know. And you're like, what the heck are you talking about, Cormac? Well, let me tell you. We got to draw pictures. This one is Jody's picture. For Nancy, dancing, dancing. Very nice. <laughs> Remember and, that, Cam? And, Lisa? and, this one was mine. I think it's up for a Tony, Oscar, whatever they do for drawings. It's awesome. She said it looked like... Johnny Stein. Johnny Stein, yeah. From Hotel Transylvania. Oh, well, see him again. If, yeah, well, you know, if this doesn't make you cry, I don't know what doesn't make you cry. Makes me want to cry in my room. This is just our last ending <gasps> of the night from the cruise ship for today, guys. We've had a blast. Well, honestly, it's been like a riot. Ah, uh, you know, didn't think going on a cruise by ourselves would be so much fun. There are lots of cool people. Well, guys, we are only. Oh, the map shows us way too close. We're we're just going up the Mississippi, and it's time to go to sleep. But we will see you tomorrow. And when we wake up, we will be in New Orleans. And we will be deciding when we wake up, where, and how we are getting home. <laughs> Stay tuned for that adventure, because we don't know. Exactly. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.